Так и Арайт. Перегорим и ставим. So then, uh, after you are doing very well, welcome to week 10, day three in the tutorial uh, using AI to generate speeches. So uh, in this tutorial, uh, we will introduce, we will introduce him, AI for speech generation, and we will see also why and how we can use AI for speech generation. So without further ado, let's dive in the intro introduction. By the way, if there is a, any question, just uh, mute your microphone and speak because actually I cannot see any of your reaction. Okay. So you know that human beings are driven by his big desire to make or to have a better life. So that is the same thing for computer scientists. And then at some point, they, they, they start thinking to create a branch called artificial intelligence that aims to create an, a, some intelligent systems that will think like human beings and do things for them, for us. So those intelligent systems will be able to to learn, to reason, to act, to act like us, like a human being. So this is where the, the, the creation of artificial intelligence branch in the computer science. So once the artificial intelligence has been created through the past years up to today, we have some evolution of artificial intelligence. So the first thing that happens is we they, they have created they have been they have created machine learning fields which is a subset of artificial intelligence that field or that subset of artificial intelligence focuses on training of data a uh, training of a computer sorry with data without being explicitly programmed and the purpose of training the data of training computers here is to allow the computer to learn pattern from the data, to recognize the pattern from the data, and to be able to make to do some prediction and help organization to make a better business, better business decision in their companies or organization. So these are what a machine learning means and they realize that to achieve the goals we are not yet close because machine learning has some limitation and to cover to overcome those limitations of machine learning they think of creating of creating another subset called deep learning and deep learning has introduced an artificial neural network that mimics the human brain. And this set focus on training computer with a lot of data. And in this case now, it, it will be able to learn to recognize complex patterns that the machine learning cannot, the traditional machine learning techniques cannot uh, learn from data. So this is what deep learning is doing. By side, we have also natural language processing because we want the machine, the computer to be able to understand human language. And the field of natural language processing, which is a subset of artificial intelligence, focusing focus on understanding, interpreting, and generating human languages in a way that is meaningful and conceptually relevant. So this is what the natural language is doing. And then anything, everything that, that is related to uh, test data will, will come under the umbrella of natural language. I mean, not, when I say everything, I'm, 
I'm talking about everything in the deep learning, okay? So, because we we not satisfied because we we not really close to what we learned, uh, there is a, another subset called generative AI that will be also created, uh, which focus on generating image, text, and video, and the the revolution of the AI today in many fields comes with the arrival of a transformer and large language models. And as we can see here, this is the interception of uh, uh, generative AI, deep learning, and natural language processing. And so this is what we can say in general about AI for speech generation. We didn't mention computer vision because we, we, we are not talking about uh, the vision of the AI in this tutorial. All right. So why uh, we want to use AI uh, for speech sorry, generation? Sorry, yes. sorry maybe uh, would you like to get back to those uh, introduction part on those four bullet points again? Uh, because that's a very important for, for for us from this i think from this uh, tutorial so, yeah this one this one yeah yeah, yeah. okay so uh, do you want me to to say again what what is your question Karafe? yeah just to to highlight these four bullet points okay okay so uh as introduction I, I was trying to let you know the reason why we are having artificial intelligence today. And I was saying that it is based on the, the desire of a human being to have a better life. So computer scientists, they, they want to create intelligent systems that will reason, that will act, that will learn, that will think like human beings. And the fun, the, the the, the final goal is to make the life of a human being better. Okay, this is what the first bull, uh, bullet point is talking about. And the, the second also, it is, it is that desire that brings computer scientists to create the field of artificial intelligence. And as I said earlier, the field of uh, the, the artificial intelligence, which is a field of computer science, aims to create intelligence systems that will think like human human beings and make it the life of human being better. Now we have the evolution of our AI from many years up to today. Okay, and this is what I was explaining that in the field of, of AI, we have machine learning, and we have and the which is a subset of AI, and in the subset of uh, in the in the set of machine learning, we have a deep learning. A deep learning, which is a subset of machine learning, and we have generative AI, which is a subset of deep learning, and we have natural language processing, which is a subset of AI. And I was explaining each of them. For instance, when we talk about machine learning, machine learning focuses on, on training the computer with the data. Okay, we train the computer with the data without explicitly uh, without explicitly programmed that computer that computers okay with uh, uh, during the training of the data and the final goal is to allow the computer to recognize the pattern to learn pattern from the data and then we can make some prediction or business decision. So this is what the machine learning field is, uh, is uh, and is helping us to do. But the same machine learning has some limitation. So to cover those limitations or to overcome them, they have created another field that we call deep learning. And deep learning focus on what? It focus on a lot of data that we will, will use to train now the computers to do what? To learn or recognize complex patterns that the 
transition the the machine learning uh, techniques were not able to to detect or to learn from data exactly up to now if yes say yes so that i can i can know and i will continue okay good so when we 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 know what the deep learning is doing know that the deep learning and the machine learning there are no big difference apart from the fact that in the deep learning we they have it's, uh, it's, it has been introduced what we call artificial neural networks which mimics uh, human brain okay so we have uh, a set of layers with the uh, neurons and we when you are you are, we ingest data to that neuron then there will be uh, the computer will train and learn from the data the data it will learn the weight the bias we call them parameters then it will learn those parameters and we have an output so it works better with a lot of data okay to recognize a complex pattern that the traditional machine learning techniques cannot do and then as uh, we not really satisfied with the uh, with the work we, we we have out of deep learning, there is the arrival of transformers. Transformers is also an architecture, and with this architecture, we were able to train a large a large language models, and with the, with that large language models is what is is what has revolutionized the whole artificial intelligence today. You can see that many people are talking about artificial intelligence because of the arrival of those two things, the, the techniques, uh, the, the, the architecture that we call transformers and uh, the large language models. So that is it about the introduction. If it, is there any question, uh, let me know. And then I will uh, explain again. If not, let me know, and I will, con will continue with the remaining. Okay, all right. So, the question we may ask ourselves is why we want to use the AI for speed generation? Uh, in the introduction, I have mentioned that I have mentioned that briefly, but um, let, let us focus on the, the the main point. The main point today is because we want to be efficient. We want we want to save time, and eh? at the same time, we want to to optimize our productivity. So it's not only just one computer science that using AI. No, it is today. We make it uh, in the way that companies, uh, everybody can use it. And those are the reason why people want to use it because they want to save time, because time is very precious for human beings. And we want to optimize uh, the product, our productivity. The second reason is to, we want to make sure that, yeah, while using AI, we are also, we, are, we still consistent and uh, we sound like uh, ourselves. The style we used to use is we sound, uh, when we have generated a content from AI, this content is uh, the same alignment with uh, our style. So those are the reasons why we want to use also AI, because AI is helping us to do those kind of things. And the last thing is, yes, when we want to generate a, a speech or a speech writing, we can specify our audience, even the event, a lot of things that we want to we, we want to customize, we can do that with the AI. Those are the reasons why we want to use in our contest in the wiki in the the wiki tell challenge, we want to use the AI to generate speech for the wedding ceremony or the wedding event. So the the next question we may ask we will ask to ourselves is how I we it is the how how we will use AI to generate speech 
it is simple. Today it is simple. We don't need to worry about that. The only things we need to, to know, first of all, is to is the, the, the data input. The data input is the specific information that we want to inject to the AI and hoping a result, hoping an output. And here we want to make sure that our we we provide to the AI our topic, our tone, our audience, the length, everything that will will come into the I mean everything that we want from the AI to generate it for us, we need to put them in the data input. We also call the data input prompts. And for the next uh, for the next slide, maybe uh, yes, I think that I will be using the the term prompt. Okay, so when you you provide your prompt to to the AI, uh, I I write here large language model. Okay, what it does, it it will use AI algorithm, often natural language processing and deep learning to analyze the prompt. And when the prompt has been analyzed, it will generate the test. In our case, okay, it will generate the test. So, and uh, let me I remind again what a natural language processing does. Uh, the natural language processing, I said earlier that is the is it is the last subset of the AI that focus on understanding, interpreting, and generating human languages in a way that is meaningful and con contextually relevant. So this is what the natural language does. So when we combine natural language uh, and deep learning, yeah, we have we have uh, LLMs and uh, uh, LLMs are powerful to generate to us inputs. So this is what uh, this is the way we, we, we will use AI to generate speech, okay? So, what are some of uh, AI content generator tools that we, we need to know during this challenge in order to perform the, the challenge in order to, to do our assignment properly? Uh, we have some, LLM language model based generator, which means that those generators are based on LLMs. Okay. And here we have Gemini, which is uh, at the same time uh, an LLM and also a generator. Okay. We have ChatGPT, which is a generator of, uh, which is an AI generator uh, based on GPT. GPT is Generative Pretrain Transformer. Because I was telling you earlier that the transformers is the, is the architecture that have revolutionized the whole AI today. The transformer and uh, the LLMs. Okay. We have a copilot also. The copilot is using in the background also GPT. Uh, apart from those LLMs, we have Typely. Typely is a website that is focusing on on AI content generate uh, uh, AI content generate generated okay so we have also write cream and speech generator so I have you have here the link okay uh, sorry yes this is the, the link of the link of speech writer and uh, let me come back again to the slide so when I will share this slide with you, you can you guys you can click on each of them and see the website. So now let us dive in in an uh, hands-on practice example. Okay. Yeah. Here we have a scenario. Our scenario here is we are the best men at a wedding, at a wedding, and uh, we need to give a, a heartfelt speech. So First of all, our reflex will be, okay, which AI are we going to use? So we have we have seen all earlier the type of AI that can generate uh, content, especially uh, special, uh, special test content. 
Okay. So we have uh, the Gemini Copilot, Rescreen, and ChatGPT, and so on and so forth. Now, the, the main part after identifying the AI that we want to use, the main part is the prompt details. We need to, because when you prove the AI, if you don't provide it, the, the right prompt or the correct prompt, you might, you, you might think like uh, he's not working very well. He will, uh, he will give you some halluc hallucination which is not good. That's why we need to focus on, on providing a very good prompt to the AI. So here, the detail of the prompt we, we are going to use in this scenario, uh, the topic, best man speech for a wedding uh, audience, friend and family of the bride and groom. Okay, so here, the audience to which we want to address our speech to which we want to give our speech will be the family and our friends, okay? For, I mean, of the bride and the groom, of course. And the tune that we want to use, we want to use a, a, a heartfelt tone, a humorous tone, and a celebratory tones, okay? We can also specify um, the length of our speech. We can say, okay, three to five minutes, or we can say also, we want two paragraph or five paragraph is up to us the way we want to design it. Okay, you can use your creativity to to give more details to your prompts, and then when the prompt has been created, we just inject the prompt to our AI that we have chosen, and then it will generate it will generate us a speech. And when the speech is generated, what we are, what are we going to do? We need to revise and edit our speech. We want to personalize it further. Okay. So if there is something the AI miss, uh, misses say or misses writing, it's up to us now to correct this thing and to personalize the, the out, the output of the AI. So this is how it works. Um, is there any question so far? I want to know if there are any questions so far. Hello guys, do you have any question? Is everything good for you? Well, have you understood very well the tutorial? Can you now perform the, the challenge? Can you generate a speech for the wedding in the challenge? Okay, all right. Um, before we wrap up the session, I will show you quickly some, some tips, okay? I'll show you some tips that you can use when it's come to, to the prompt, because as I said, the prompt, the prompt is very important. Prompt is very important. So, um, so you, you guys, you can, I'm, I'm, I'm going to use Gemini, okay? I'm going to use Gemini in my case. Uh, uh, sorry, for please. Uh, Okay, good. So, um, let us say that, um, let me go again to the, the scenario. Okay, this is our scenario, okay? Um, you can use this scenario and, 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 and come here and say, uh, and ask the, uh, the LLMs, okay, or the AI generator to generate you. Uh, generate, generate a prompt, generate a prompt for the, for the below, for the below state. Okay. 
and you provide you provide uh, your prompt the the detail of your prompt you provide it to the LLM so that I can provide you a good prompt. Okay. Then it to provide you now some prompts. So up to now is we, we are not going to we are now we don't we, we don't uh, we, we don't start generating the the content of the speech. No, we are we are going to generate with the AI a good prompt. Okay. So the AI suggests us uh, personal personal anecdotes and future wishes. Uh, share personal stories and anecdotes about your friendship with the groom. May say express your heartfelt congratulations and best wishes for a happy couple's future together. So, for instance, this, uh, this is a prompt here. Remember the time we insert funny anecdotes. So, here, for instance, you can customize that one. Okay, we will repeat this one. It is a moment like those that remind me. Why group name? Then we provide the group name here. Maybe it is a Kani uh, or Kim. Provide here, uh, and and so on, so on. Okay. When you do that, okay, you you will have something like this. Let let me share with you something I have done. Okay. You can have this something like this. Okay. This is the prompt I want them. I was staying with around. Happy is not only a beautiful woman, but also a kind, compassionate, and intelligent person. I've always admired her kindness, generosity, and open-mindedness. She is the perfect part partner for coffee. And I know that we'll have a wonderful life together. Please generate a heart a heartfelt speech for three minutes that will give you that I will give during the wedding. Okay, so this the uh, the type. Uh, this one is the uh, the platform type typing. Okay, AI. So you come to the, the, the platform, you generate your prompt, you provide the prompt, you click on generate, and then it will generate you this. Let me. Uh, let me remove this to run and you will see how it works. Okay. Let us click on generate. Okay. You see? And it will generate you a content. And now through the content, you, you will have, it will save you time. You will have your content. You will read your content. And if there are, there are some adjustments you need to provide, you will do that. You need to review always the AI content. Okay, this is one thing. Okay, um, after you got your prompt, yeah, let us come back to the to the Gemini. Okay, yeah, if I provide you a prompt. It's up to you to customize your prompt. Let us assume that you have provided you have customized already your prompt. Okay, and you provide the prompt, and we click on, and then it will generate us something. Okay, so basically, this is how it works and how we can generate uh, we can generate speech using AI. We can also exploit the other uh, platform, right screen, or uh, uh, this one which is called speech generator. Uh, for the speech generator, is also is also uh, it will ask you more details. For instance, the topic of the topic of the speech, the length, and the type of speech. You will choose if it is a wedding toast, if it is a motivational. Okay, you will choose the one you want. Uh, the tone, if it is humorous, you choose that. If it is inspirational, based on your goal. You will choose those things and then you will provide the detail here and you will generate. So that's it. And uh, I hope these things will help you to complete your assignment. Okay. So that's it. 
this is what I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope you will enjoy it and uh, if there's no question, we can wrap up this session. Okay, I think everything is okay. Then we stop the recording.